My pet peeve, people who yelled at you and made you angry but try to joke with you a few minutes later because they can't stand the atmosphere they created. I'm sorry, did you mean parents? If everybody will behave with intelligence, the pneumonia rate will soon recede. There is much virtue in your if. The Philadelphia Inquirer, Pennsylvania, December 7th, 1922. Me reading this in 2020, almost 98 years after this was published. <laughs> yep. You know what? I'm taking away the language until you all learn how to act. <laughs> booga, unga, booga, booga. Power Bible. <laughs> that moment when you say you're bored and someone starts listing off chores and homework to do. Like, why the hell do you think I'm capable of doing something productive when I'm bored out of my damn mind? People who were born prematurely can never say the phrase, I was born ready. Um, <laughs> excuse you. I was so ready, I demanded to be born. Perhaps the thing that was the most pog champ was the friendship we made along the way. Are you gonna make a pog champ meme with Sienna? I did that before pog champ was even a meme. Characters with no flaws are boring, that's just a fact. Bye. Uh, fuck, never mind, I take it back! Everyone on this post trying to point out flaws that Kirby has should be absolutely and completely ashamed of themselves! There is a Kirby flaw. He isn't real, therefore I can't hug him. Vinyl is probably the best medium because the material is relatively soft, so it's easier to eat. Cassettes are a pain in the ass because you can't eat the shell. You have to wide out all the music yourself to eat it. I hate cassettes. I'm sorry, what? Being trans level 2 involves having a gender you reserve specifically for cis people, then breaking out the good actual gender around other trans people like it's fine china. By night, I am Socrates. But by day, I am Karen. A friend of mine wanted to play as a rude character in D&D, and he told me that I am the rudest person he knows, and wanted me to teach him how to act rude. And yes, I taught him how to act rude, I'm not an asshole. Mothers and fuckers of the jury, I am the one radical dude, and I am here to prove the defendant is not bodacious. Prosecutor, I'm gonna have to ask you to take a chill pill, dude. Guys, this is a murder trial. Whoa, jury number three, I'm gonna have to ask you to chillax. Can you please chillax, murder is not bodacious. This guy literally murdered the victim in cold blood. And that, my dude, is in violation of Radical Saturday. And why are you telling me to chillax? Your radical honor, can we have jury dude number three leave the call for being too rowdy? Totally, dude. Thank you, my bodacious honor dude. Your radical honor, I only did it for the vine, I swear. That may lower your charges slightly, but you did break bodacious Saturday. Yana, what do you think? The defendant does say he only did it for the vine, and that's pretty rad. However, he did break Radical Saturday, and that's just an absolute no in my book, dude. I find the defendant guilty for breaking Radical Saturday, but totally innocent for the not as radical murder. Thank you, my Radical Honor dude. You're absolutely welcome, my prosecutor dude. Keep being rad. What just happened? Yeah, but could a spy do this? 